Griffin Poetry Prize 2006 Judges Citation Phil Hall These are poems of ferocity and humility, of vulnerability and wit, poems whose skilled complexities elucidate the lyric disturbance of melody, memory, and self. Grasping his intimate line like a kind of loved and fortuitous hand tool, what Hall constructs is a voice that attends to the familial and psychic histories submerged in landscape, in all their bitterness and gorgeousness. There is a rough amplitude in his compositional principle, that, between the body and language, a ravine of call and response. In his work, out of the uncertainty and lag of dailiness, comes the knowledge that, although precision isn't always simple, by the precise ear we may arrive at the heart. A Lost Path Back, Phil Hall Okay, so <laughs> there's this line I'd like to change. Well, we can do that later. I mention that, though, to remind us that um, what we do, writing, is a verb. What we make, writing, is a noun. The makers focus on the verbs. A noun is kind of a fossilized verb. Um, what I'll try to do is turn the, the verbs here into nouns for a few minutes. How? Well, by saying and listening. Saying as I'm doing now. listening in a ritualized way, saying a lost path back, each evacuated tread canceling a labeled dig, each bounding hoof track deep as a nostril, a path contorting like a storm rudder or a knob on a dash, saying a lost path back, as of old. As of old, a ghost haunts a house you've lost. Buy the house back, feed the ghost. A pillow and a snore outbid the going rates. A living ear is what a ghost eats. The Big Jack I Caught in the Stone Pile, Phil Hall. Well, welcome. One of the only things I'm proud to say I uh, am like Robert Duncan is he said that. Uh, he had the great fortune of having started out with no talent at all. <laughs> In fact, if I were actually represented well up here, I'd have two other people with me. On this side, there would be a person who just stood there and represented silence and said nothing. And on this side would be someone who just growled. <laughs> And I would be here in the middle between those with what? The magic of articulation. <laughs> the big jack I caught in the stone pile and put in the cellar to tame ran in blurred circles till the farmhouse spun. When I caught him again to let him go, his hind legs jumping in my fist, 
like the tractor's gear knob. He tore a long furrow up the belly of my arm, as if I'd been trying to kill myself. The house slowly stopped spinning and fell on its side. The cellar, an open grave, its soft potatoes handled by cloud shadow. Boy, was my arm ever starting to sing. I had sting, but I typed it wrong. And then I realized that's what we do, is we sing with our arms. <laughs> An Oak Hunch by Phil Hall <laughs>